Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for why is there no contact with them right now? Okay, so we're going to examine the question about your love interest and why are they not contacting you right now? And we're gonna look at, okay, what is going on with them and also find out, okay, what do they wanna to say to you that they haven't said to you? And then we're gonna find out, is there gonna be contact? And then I'm gonna see if you guys have some good things coming up in your romantic love life. All right, my darlings. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a person with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. And guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Let's also move to this one. I'll do it to this day. I'm trying to get the lighting right, so. And the camera angle right at this. All right, so. Capricorn's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Why is Capricorn's love interest not communicating with them right now? Why are they out of contact with them? Okay, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Why is Capricorn's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is Capricorn's love that he's not communicating with them right now? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Card deck two. Why is Capricorn's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is Capricorn's love interest not communicating with them right now? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck three. Let's put these aside for a second here and let's see what's going on. Okay, so we got the Eight of Wands. We got the King of Wands. We got the Strength card energy. And let's also move this down here. We have the Sun card energy. And I'm going to move it over here a little bit. We have the Judgment card energy and we have the Tower. Let's do another layer. All right, we've got the Hierophant card energy, the Justice, the Page of Wands, the Moon card energy, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. Going down on the layer here, Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Earth, the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So. I can already see what's going on here. It's just like things were moving a lot of fast, very, very fast here when it came to marriage. Um, or they don't know how to communicate some things to you about marriage. Some of you, they had to make a decision here, but it was not balanced, balanced decision. Um, they were focused on the sense of passion here, or they're focused on the sense of passion here, making the best decision when it comes to passion. Because we see a legal marriage here, possibly, for some of you. Hierophant and justice together is a legal marriage. Um, oh, oh my goodness, or, or there was something that moved very fast here when it came to marriage and an opportunity. And it could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. They may have lacked the courage or strength here. There may, may be lacking the courage and strength here. Um, to really take a leadership role around the situation. And they tried to just make a decision about this, or they didn't make a decision about this. And they are trying to explore some things here, passionate things, are trying to explore new things here. They're trying to be happy here with the Sun card energy, but they, they are confused about what they want. Um, so going further on this, there could have been some kind of communication about marriage, traditions, okay? They wanted to make the best decision when it came to their passion and chemistry, so they made that decision, or they're making that decision. And they may have lacked the courage, strength, or confidence here, and so they decided they wanted to explore some new things with the Page of Wands energy, or there was somebody who was very flirty there with the Page of Wands energy. This person feels like they are happy with you, sun card energy, but they are confused about the situation. It does seem like this person does want to reconcile with you, but they don't know how to take the romantic gestures to do it. 
So we see this person's trying to be practical in their situation here, Capricorn, because they were really shocked and surprised about this sense of juggling here or having to make a heavy decision. So instead of them making a decision, they just decided to just juggle things back and forth here. And it took them by surprise, right? They, they had a sense of confusion about these romantic gestures and they were kind of just kind of going back and forth like, what should I do here? What should I do here? And they were really confused about the whole situation. Could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy involved possibly Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person's trying to be practical and they want to bring some kind of balance here into the situation, but they're letting their burdens, their responsibilities, or these things weigh heavy on them and they don't know how to defend their position or they may feel like they have the higher ground here in this situation with that seven of wands energy. This person's stressing about how to take charge of things here and they may lack hope with the star card energy if they can fulfill their dreams and their desires. This person really needs to make a decision. They want some kind of fairness here. I feel like they do want some kind of potential long-term commitment. They want to send a message here. But this person's just waiting around to see how things are going to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And it's giving them a sense of confusion here or illusion around the situation in the sense of work and effort. This person's kind of like, well, I don't know if I can find a creative solution, how we can work together here, but I need to wait for the right time before I can take a leadership role here with this King of Wands energy. Let's go further on this. This person's not doing it because of change in their happiness, and they have a lot of regrets about what happened, and so they're trying to be patient here. So they feel this sense of guilt and feel bad about it. They're just surrendering to the situation because they don't feel like they have control here and they are lacking the self-esteem. There's the strength card energy. They feel really bad about this situation with the relationship. There may be friends or other people involved or influencing them in some way. And they're trying to be helpful about that because of the fact that they're giving here, giving some time, purpose, yeah, service and purpose. They're trying, they feel like this sense of service to these friends or these other people is part of their purpose. And they're just focused on being peace. They do have envy and are blaming you or may have a sense of blame here when it comes to a reconciliation. There's a sense of adversity and wanting freedom here because they want to be thankful here about the sense of success because they lack the courage, strength, or confidence again. So it seems like they're focused in on work, their responsibilities, and it looks like they're trying to be helpful to other people. They don't know how to approach the situation. They've been going back and forth and trying to make a decision, but they're confused about what to do because they are concerned about things kind of falling apart there with the tower card energy. Okay, so let's move these aside here and see what do they want to say to you, Capricorn, that they haven't said to you? What is Capricorn's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Capricorn's love interest want to say to them that they haven't said? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What does Capricorn's love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does Capricorn love interest want to say to them that they haven't said? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. Ring. Heart to heart conversations. Cutting. Deception. Challenges. Okay. They want to say that they want to talk about this commitment, engagement, or marriage. And they want to cut away these unhealthy things pertaining to the past. They don't know how to be honest about the situation and these challenges here, how to deal with these challenges. And they are missing you. They're at a crossroads here, Capricorn, and they're trying to be patient here because of friends. They do want to be friends or friends seem to be a part of or an issue around this indecision that they're having. They want to reconcile with you and assert themselves to take control of the situation so that they can be happy and have a positive outcome here. 
So going further, this person does want a win-win outcome. They don't want to argue and fight with you, and they're just trying to surrender to the situation. This person is trying to step outside of their comfort zone, and they want you to know that the answers that you need are coming soon. And they're going to take an action here. They're trying to think with their heart here or deal with their heart in the situation by really giving themselves some time to contemplate things so they can be honest, be the real them. Okay, so let's find out Capricorn. Will you hear from them in the next couple months? And then we're going to look at and see what kind of positive things are coming in for your romantic love life. Okay, so will Capricorn hear from their love interest? Will their love interest contact them in the next couple of months? The one that they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one they're not in contact with right now. Will they hear from that love interest in the next couple of months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh my goodness, Ace of Cups. Six of Cups. Let me just move that down for you guys. The Magician. Okay, all right. Let me tell you why. Yes, I mean, Ace of Cups is saying, yes, there's love here. There's going to be um, renewal of the past, uh, memories of the past, and you're going to have the power. You're going to manifest this. And the reason why is because of the sense of trappedness and the heartache and a new perspective about the situation, okay? We see there's a relationship or the lovers and communication and things will align in your favor. Wheel of Fortune energy. So let's see Capricorn, what's some great things or good things that are coming in for your romantic love life? Let's find out. Spirit, show me some good things that are coming in for Capricorn. What can they expect? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to be protected. You're going to be prepared for an, a potential opportunity coming in. There's an action being taken here towards a relationship, a commitment here, a reconciliation. So this defensive energy here, this this energy of, oh my God, I'm gonna get hurt, you know, what's gonna happen here? You're gonna be resilient around this, and then the opportunity, potential opportunity is gonna come up for a relationship and for a reconciliation, for a commitment, for a partnership here with the Two of Cups energy. There is gonna be a victory and recognition of things coming into balance for you guys. And it's gonna go slow with the Knight of Pentacles energy, but it's gonna go more in a serious direction with the Knight of Pentacles energy. And you guys are going to get the clarity and the answers that you've been waiting for because of a decision here, a sense of justice, a sense of fairness, because karma is going to come back around and it's going to be working in your favor because there's love here with the Ace of Cups energy. We see emotions and relationships and true love here, Ace of Cups energy, are going to come into balance. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. There is the monthlies and there is the uh, next two weeks, which also is uh, singles and love interest reads separated. And also for the monthlies, it's, it's love, creative finance and health and wellness. And then the weeklies are coming out tomorrow with the day-to-day -to -day and the overall. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.